वेलकम टू लैप टॉक I am back with the third video in the series on equipment qualification. The next part in the equipment qualification is performance qualification. Performance qualification or PQ is the documented collection of activities necessary to demonstrate that an instrument consistently performs according to the specifications defined by the users and is appropriate for the intended use. PQ should be done once OQ is successfully completed. The PQ is the final test before actually placing the equipment in routine use and potentially the most important test document and testing that the equipment works fully in the live environment using live data. PQ is based on a workflow model from your user requirement specification. This user requirement specification is nothing but the design qualifications. Performance qualification or PQ of laboratory equipment is an important component of the validation of the entire production process or over a certain period of time and for a specific product. Even though PQ usually comprises OQ test under process condition, a detailed test plan has to be created based on comprehensive process description before the validation process is started in any case. It requires performance check to be made through a series of tests. Systems, utilities, equipment should consistently perform in accordance with their design specifications. The performance should be verified in accordance with a PQ protocol. PQ tests are usually based on instruments typical on-site applications. The PQ protocol should involve or what are the tests the lab is going to perform on the equipment in the laboratory. So the PQ protocols should be drawn or should design in such a way that all the tests that the lab is supposed to perform on the equipment should be covered. The objective of PQ is it is proposed to verify and document that the appliances and systems are working reproducibly within the entire specified working range and limits. The scope of PQ Testing should be performed under the actual running condition across the anticipated working range. Once an IQ and OQ had been verified, PQ testing is conducted. Responsibility lies with the person who is going to operate the equipment or the technical specialist in the respective field. Now coming to the step by step procedure. PQ testing should be repeated at regular intervals. The frequency depends on such a parameter or ruggedness of the instrument and the criticality and frequency of use. Manufacturers should justify the selected period over which PQ is done. PQ testing at periodic intervals can also be used to compile an instrument performance history. Knowing what are the performance checks that should be done during the PQ or performance qualification procedure. Set up a test or a series of tests to verify an acceptable performance of the instrument for its intended use. Those performing PQ should not choose strictly routine test material as any minor variabilities will have increased visibility on a rare tissue or a fluid type. Validation of the instrument must correlate with the annual or automated method previously used. Correlate the results with previous testing on the previous platform when completing required sign off to document the approval of the performance qualification. The PQ should be performed again when instruments undergoes major repairs, relocations, modifications after appropriate operational qualification. Or what are the tests that should be performed in the PQ? Some of the examples are given the precision of the testing, the accuracy of the testing, the reproducibility, repeatability, linearity ranges, detection limits, sensitivity, analytical specificity. These are some of the criteria under on which the performance qualification should be performed. Some tests may resemble those performed during operational qualification, but the specification for their test can be set differently if required. PQ tests are performed routinely on a working instrument and not just on a new instrument at installation, where two stages of qualification that is OQ and PQ are performed simultaneously or where PQ is executed at the same time as process validation, appropriate justification for such a decision should be documented. PQ is performed on the process as a whole, component of the system or process are Performance qualification should also include 
testing the systems against the operational capacity but not exceeding it. The extent of the PQ can result from requirement of the operator or from normative or legal requirements. It is important at this stage to ensure that all the operational test data conform with the predetermined acceptance criteria as mentioned in the design qualification. Following checklist for the PQ portion of the process validations should be made available. This includes the following points. Have the product characterized been defined? Have the process parameters been set? Has the SOP has been established and maintained? Does the SOP define the nominal values of for the process parameter? Have the operators been trained? Has the methods for monitoring been established? Is there a mechanism in place to evaluate proposed process changes to see if the process requires revalidation? Is there a mechanism in place to evaluate process deviations or to see if the process requires revalidations? Preventive maintenance and repairs should be performed. When a PQ test failed to meet specification, the instrument requires maintenance or repairs. Now, how to prepare a PQ report or what are the contents of the PQ report? The documentation of PQ report is most important and is a continuous process. Upon successful completion of the PQ, the process validation project will be complete and the new or modified process can be placed into routine production. Documentation under process conditions that the appliance or the entire process with the product produces the expected defined results. Documentation of the procedure and results in the qualification report with detailed procedure description and if applicable pictures are should be mentioned. Performance qualification report should include statements or whether or not the PQ protocol was followed in the entirely and reasons for any deviations. Elements that should be included in the PQ protocols are description of the process in the regular work environment, duration of the PQ, standard operating parameters and limits, acceptance criteria for qualifications, performance measurements, indicators and expected results, test procedure for each item of measuring equipment, test data to be gathered and the time frame and schedule for gathering data, instruction on handling abnormal data and resolution procedure for unexpected result that is root cause analysis, corrective action and preventive actions of the deviations, documented justification for using whatever data are to be used, requirement for setting up data acquisition whether it is manual or automated, instruction on how test results are to be reported whether manually or electronically, list of statistical tools that can be used to analyze the data, make reference to all data gathered during PQ, prepare a summary of conclusions drawn, state whether the expected results are achieved and any follow-up activities are to be needed or not. Completion of satisfactory PQ should permit a formal release of the process for actual working of the equipment. The release should take the form of return authorization and approval from the process validation team and management. The validation team then prepares a final report on the entire process validation project and presents it to the management. For many instruments, a periodic preventive maintenance may also be recommended and this depends upon the manufacturer's recommendation and the manufacturer or supplier has to give the justification for the periodic CT which is mentioned. Relevant PQ should be repeated after the needed maintenance or repair to ensure that the instrument remains qualified. So friends, with this we have come to the end of the third video on equipment qualification which includes the performance qualification. Next video we will see about de design qualification. Stay tuned with laptop for more such videos. Thank you.